President Yoon Suk Yeol spent much of May focused on diplomacy, from multilateral summits to hosting leaders at his office. He switched the focus to domestic policies last week that value balanced regional growth. Our Kim Do Yeon reports. South Korea has one of the fastest decreasing populations in the world, with small rural towns facing the risk of disappearing. And with the government and opposition lawmakers making clear the importance of promoting balanced regional growth, President Yoon Song Yeol has highlighted an underlying vision of his that has been no secret since his election. And this past week, the president put his words into action. On Monday, he went to the western port city, Incheon, where the new overseas Korean agency opened up. On Wednesday, he went to Cheongju City for the groundbreaking ceremony of a high-speed railroad. On Friday, he went to Gangwon-do province, which has recently become a special self-governing province. This was one of the most notable domestic achievements that has support across the political divide. While the effects are not going to be immediate, experts say this is a forward-thinking move. There are differences in each region, and the national government has limits in terms of managing them. Now, if local governments can make decisions for themselves, they will be able to consider different aspects themselves and make more reasonable decisions. But for the results to show, it will take some time. Next in line for an upgrade is Cholabukdo province, which in January will also become a self-governing province. The president shifted focus this week after spending the month of May engaged in diplomatic events which earned him favorable approval ratings from his foreign policy achievements. So, why a sudden turn to domestic politics? Pundits are pointing to the general elections next April. He needs to boost his approval rating for the general elections next year, and in that case, he needs to win the hearts of the voters in different regions. However, if he does that too close to the election, he will get criticized by the opposition, and there are legal limits, so he is working on it now. Experts also say that while much of these policies have been supported by both parties, it is likely that the general public will remember the president's role. And there's one related key achievement that could yet come as we wait to see if Busan wins the bid to host the 2030 World Expo. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.